this is Aisha of Aisha Designed It and welcome back to my channel. Well, I am super excited today because I am going to be showing you another Christmas idea that you can give as a Christmas gift. Now, this Christmas gift is one especially for someone who loves to read, but it can be given to others also, okay? Um, just know the person that you're giving it to. Now, what I'm talking about is an easy, affordable, and a pretty quick gift all right what am i talking about these right here metal bookmarks so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be using these metal bookmarks and i'm going to be supplementing on them okay now these bookmarks i purchased from amazon i will have the link in the description box below so make sure you go and check them out now what i love about them let me just grab one here i had had all of them so if you can see right here on the front it has the supplementation coating on the front and if you turn it over to the back if you can see that it's metal all right so when i first because i've already uh, made it on one of them for myself and one thing that i forgot to do was take the plastic off the um the bookmark okay but when i took the sublimation paper off the plastic was on the sublimation paper um so i was like because at first i was looking i was like what is this sticky or look like plastic on the sublimation paper so then i realized when i was making one for another uh, for one of my friends i looked and i was like there is plastic on here but if you look at it i don't know if you can really tell through the um through my phone here but when you look at it you cannot see the plastic okay so i'm telling you if you purchase these make sure you peel the plastic off so let me show you where the plastic is you just take it take your finger and you see this you just peel it off and there it is okay right there it's a clear film and what they do um at least what I think they do when they make these, they put this clear film on it to protect the sublimation part right here. So won't nothing get in it, so won't nothing get on it, or it won't get scratched. Okay, so I love that. That's one little thing I wanted to tell you about because you won't be able to see this if you did not know that it was on there. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing, I am going to be supplementing this on my ET 2760 sublimation printer, the one I converted over, and guess what? I'm gonna give you a bonus video. I'm gonna show you how to make these without ha even having to have a supplementation printer, okay? We're gonna be using my inkjet printer. And we're going to be using some of this inkjet glossy photo paper. We're gonna see if this works, okay? We're gonna work, we're gonna do it together. As you see here, as we do here on this channel, we learn and grow together. Now, we're going to see if that inkjet print will work on the bookmark, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Make sure you like. Make sure you, make sure you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I am the one who answers your questions or any comments that you may have. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you a part of the Aisha Designed It family. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to go into Creative Fabrica because that's where I'm going to get my designs from. You can also go to Canva and either make you a design or grab your design over on Canva. But I'm going to Creative Fabrica. If you're not a part of Creative Fabrica, make sure you click in the link. I have a link for Creative Fabrica in the description box below. They have some amazing designs, okay? So, like I said, we're going to go to Creative Fabrica. We're going to grab us a design and we're going to supplement it on a bookmark. And we're gonna another, grab another design and we're gonna try it on this inkjet glossy paper. All right, so let's go. All right, so as you see, I am here in Creative Fabrica. Now what I did, I just went in and put in flowers and it came up with this 3D pink flower background. Now I'm gonna be using this for one of the, one of, uh, the latest in my ministry. I'm gonna be making bookmarks for them for Christmas. So, um, I just went ahead and downloaded this one. This one I already have downloaded, but when you go into Creative Fabrica by using my link in the description box, all you have to do is click on download, all right? And once you click on download, it will download to your computer, okay? 
All right, so I already have this download, like I said before. So let me go and show you how it looks once you um, download it to your computer. All right, so here is where it came up. Oh, let's see, I already had that. All right, so this is where it comes up in my com my the part of my computer. Yours may be different, um, but there comes it comes with fourteen different JPEGs. Okay. So I'm just going to show you some of the ones and how it looks. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a 3D design again, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I will also have this design in the description box below for you to go and um, grab it, okay? But this is another one, okay? So I chose number five for my friend in my ministry, and I'm going to be doing um, I'm going to be doing this one with you. We're going to be doing it together, okay? All right, so that's how that comes up. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it at the bottom of my screen here. And I'm just going to go down here and just pull up, go back into Creative Fabrica, all right? And then I'm going to go back and find another design that I want to put on um, the bookmark that I'm going to be using the Inkjet Glossy um, paper with. Again, the Inkjet Glossy paper, we're just going to try it. We're going to see if it works, okay? It may work, it may not, but that's the point of learning, growing, and seeing what you can do and seeing what works, okay? So I'm going to be printing my design out right here on my Epson um, ET2760 Supplementation Printer. Um, I have asked for Christmas for an upgrade to my printer. Um, I love this printer right here. This printer is in the description box below if you would like it. But this one here only prints 8.5 by 11. And I'm at the point now where I want to move up to bigger prints, larger prints. So I have one in mind that I want to print. Actually, I have two. I'm going to have to decide between the two that I want. But this is an amazing um, printer here. Like I said, this one here, you have to convert it over to sublimation. And what I did, I just added the sublimation ink right here. Okay? And this is the ET2760. And this is a great one for beginners. So if you're a beginner with sublimation and you don't have the budget to pay for the actual sublimation printer because they do have the actual sublimation printer, you can purchase this one, this Epson 20 ET2760, just to get started with. And like I said, it prints 8.5 by 11. So um, I've been had this printer, I think I purchased this printer, my husband purchased it for me, I think it was in 21, 2021. So I've been had it a couple of years, it's absolutely amazing. But this is what I'm going to be printing my design on, okay? Alright y'all, so let me just go ahead and show you because I've already done two bookmarks um, before I did this video. And uh, let me show you the one that I did for myself. Now I will put... Um, this design in the description box below also if you you know would like to get this design but this is from creative fabrica also and this one i made for myself i hope that you can see it it's absolutely gorgeous there it is okay absolutely gorgeous i love this i love the ornament um and everything about this one it is a christmas one and I also added the red tassel to it, okay? The tassels come with it. So I love these bookmarks. As you see, it, it supplemented very well, very vibrant. Um, now, make sure you play with your settings when it comes to your print, um, when it comes to your heat press. I have a better sub heat press. I absolutely love my better sub heat press. It is located in the description box below also. It's a 15 by 15. Um, better sub heat press. I have the pink one. They also have the purple one. Now I set my temperature at 350 for 60 seconds and as you see it came out gorgeous. Okay now let me show you one of the ones that I'm going to be giving to one of the ladies in my ministry. Now this is one that I did for her. If you all remember I did a Betty Boop um, tumbler for her. A couple of months ago, I will be leaving that video in the description box just in case you did not see it. But her name is Mrs. Faye, and um, I am making her this bookmark also, as well as giving her some other things for Christmas, okay? All right, if you can see that. So what I did, I just typed her name in there and the design with the flowers and everything, and I just added the gold tassel. Now, the gold tassel looks really great with this design. As you can see right here. 
All right, so let's go ahead and do the 3D flower one, which I'm going to be giving to another lady in my ministry. All right, y'all, so I found this beautiful pink Christmas background. I absolutely love it with the reindeer and the, the Christmas trees and the ornaments and all of this. So what I'm going to do, I am going to be using this design. Now, when I showed you the um, bookmark, let me see. When I showed you the one I had done for myself, this one right here, now this is the one that I use. I use one of these here. Okay, so um, I want to use this one um, at, when making the inkjet one, okay? So I don't know which one I'm gonna try yet, but we're gonna be using this one in the inkjet printer. So in order to make uh, the design with the inkjet printer, you will need, and I have an HP OfficeJet 5250A, it will be linked in the description, but also you will need the Koala Inkjet Lossy Photo Paper. That's what I'm going to be using, okay? So I'm going to be linking all of that in the description box below. Okay, so again, this is the outside and how it looks. I'm going to take the paper out. I've used this paper before, um, so I'm going to take it out. Um, and as you see, this is the glossy side. This is the like the dull side, the dull side, okay? So, um, there are some instructions on the, let's see. There's some instructions on the inside of the bag, I think. It's the inside or the outside. I think it's on the back side. All right, so make sure you follow the instructions. And with the um, inkjet printer that I have, I always have to print I have to pull my printer out and I print on the actual print side of it, okay? Because the way my printer is, is I put it in and it goes, well, I'm sorry, I have to turn it over. So it goes the opposite way, okay? If that makes sense. So let me just show you my inkjet printer that I have, okay? Okay, so this is the inkjet printer that I have. I said it's the HP OfficeJet 5250A. I can't remember where I got it. I think I got it from office depot but i've had this so many years okay and um you have to lift it up and put the ink over on the inside of it okay um so this is the way mine look and it has this little pull out little thing here so when the paper comes out um it can fall on this instead of if it wasn't pulled out you know the paper would just fall on the wherever you have it, okay? So I'm just gonna pull that out so that when the paper come out, it'll land on this. All right, so let me show you again. You just peel the plastic off. And what I do, I use alcohol to clean um, anything that I'm going to be supplementing on. Again, here's my alcohol bottle. And I just spray it directly onto whatever it is that I am supplementing. Got my little piece of paper towel here and I just wipe it clean, okay? Be careful with this because, I mean, even though it's metal, it's still, you know, you don't want to break it or bend it or any of that, okay? And so I just go ahead and wipe everything off. And let me show you how I'm going to put the design on, okay? All right, so when this inkjet printer is printing, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it have a little, right here on this screen, it says printing to let you know it's printing. As you can see, it has come out, all right? And as you see, let me show you. It printed on this side, which is the side I told you that I have to put it in the upside down for it to print on the correct side. But as you see here, it is right here. Super cute. So let's go ahead and apply it to the bookmark. All right, so here is the 3D um, flower that I showed you. So what I'm going to be doing, make sure you have your sublimation tape and I just take the bookmark just like this with the sublimation part showing, you know, facing up, take it. Now we're going to turn it facing down, place it on whatever area you want when it comes to, you know, what part of the design that you want to put the, um, for the sublimation to show up on the bookmark okay now i put my design bigger than the bookmark and i did that on purpose because i didn't want it to be the exact measurement because sometimes it can be a little off so i made it just a little bit bigger um so that i can just place it how i want to so what you do is just lay it down go ahead and tape it okay with your sublimation heat tape okay and um that's the same way i'm going to do with the this one here what i'm going to be using the inkjet okay i'm going to do it the same way we're going to see now this one here 
we're not sure how this one's going to turn out with the inkjet um paper okay um using it on the sublimation bookmark but we're going to try it because for the ones of you who do not have a sublimation printer it may work it may not but we're going to see okay it's okay to try it's okay to see we're going to use one bookmark just to see if it doesn't work well it's just one bookmark that we've lost but if it do work then guess what we've succeeded right all right so let's go ahead and do the same thing as i did over here i'm going to do the same thing over here okay Okay, y'all, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, like I showed you before, here's my heat tape. Make sure you have that. And I'm just going to take a piece, and I'm just going to, pretty much, I put my uh, bookmark exactly where I want it. All right, just make sure everything lined up, is lined up the way you want it. So now what I'm going to do is take a piece of heat tape and just apply it to, uh-oh, put some more on here. Just apply it to each section. You want to do the top, the bottom, and each side, okay? That is to hold it on there. And the same with this one. So this is the inkjet one, okay? With the deer, I'm going to take it. I've already cleaned it with alcohol. I'm going to take it and place it exactly where I want it. Now, I did trim the edges off on this one, the white part, because it's not going to go over there, okay? So I'm just going to take it and place it in the area where I want it. I'm gonna apply heat tape because we're gonna be hitting these um, on the heat the heat press. Have my heat press set at 350 for 60 seconds. All right y'all, so what I'm gonna do now, I have went ahead and got my butcher paper. Remember, always put your piece of butcher paper at the bottom and have one for the top, okay? All right, so this is the, um, the one that I did with the sublimation uh, with my converted uh, sublimation printer. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it here. All right, just put it somewhere on your butcher paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and put both of them on here. This is the one with the inkjet. Um, the inkjet, I used the inkjet printer with the inkjet glossy paper. Remember, we don't know how this one's going to turn out, but we're going to try it. Don't hurt to try. So we're going to put it here. Okay, have you another piece of butcher paper? A clean, a clean piece because I had one that I used earlier when I was doing the other one. And as you see, it got some um, ink on it. So you don't want to use that. You want to use a clean one. Just place it over your design or designs. All right, I have my heat press set at 350. If you can see that, 350 for 60 seconds. Make sure that you have firm pressure. Let me show you. Make sure that your heat press has firm pressure. And I'm um, pointing back here in the back where the little pressure knob is. All right. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to put a little bit more pressure on it. Not too much. Okay. Go ahead. Take it and pull it down. All right. And we're going to let it go. Remember, 350 for 60 seconds. All right. It's done. Go ahead and lift it up. Alright, and as you see, the ink did come off on the paper, but you can just go ahead and throw that away. Alright, so, okay, so I'm going to take it over to my desk, and we're going to let it cool just a little bit. Remember to have your heat gloves also, and we're going to see how it looks, okay? Alright, y'all, so don't forget, I do have a website where I sell my t-shirts, and um, also I sell my tumblers. Make sure you go and check me out at AishaDesignedIt.com. I also have an Etsy shop, which I will be having the bookmarks on my Etsy shop, um, probably starting next week. If you need them before Christmas, make sure you email me. My email address is in the description box at AishaDesignedIt at gmail.com. Just email me and let me know that you want um, some of the... Um, Christmas bookmarks okay and I can get those out to you all right um and I like I said I will be putting it in my Etsy shop they are for purchase so just let me know um right now I'm selling SVGs and PNGs on my Etsy shop I will also soon have my rhinestone templates on my Etsy shop so I have learned how to do my own rhinestone templates yay 
I'm super excited because at first I was purchasing them. Now I can make my own. That was my whole goal. So, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and check out these uh, bookmarks. Remember, make sure you have gloves or something that you can, you know, pick the bookmarks up with because they are metal and metal is hot. You do not want to burn yourself. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how it turned out. All right, y'all. So I'm trying to decide which one I want to do first. Okay. Do I want to do the inkjet printer first? This is the one with the inkjet printer. This is the supplementation one. Hmm. Ugh. I think we're going to do the inkjet printer one first, okay? Because that's one that we've never done this before. We, I've never used my inkjet printer to supplement on a bookmark. Actually, this is my first time ever supplementing on a bookmark anyway, okay? So, um, we're going to check this out and see how it looks. Let me grab my little pick. Now, what you want to do, I have a pick. You know, you can open it or, you know, get in here any way you want to. Um, but I'm just going to take it and just kind of go around. You want to be careful because you don't want to mess it up. All right. So that's the way I'm going to do it. All right. So y'all, I'm, ex I'm excited about it. But then again, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I don't think this did good. Yes, it did. This is a fail. A total fail, y'all. Let's look at it. Okay. So this is a total fail, okay? So you cannot do bookmarks with an inkjet, um, with inkjet, okay? All right, so this is how this came out. Again, this is the one with the using the inkjet glossy paper with the inkjet printer, okay? Um, so you know it didn't work out so that's fine this is just one bookmark that we lost so we're going to go ahead and open up the one that i did with the supplementation no i know this is going to be gorgeous okay so again i'm just going to take it like this just open it okay let me take a peek at it right quick before i show you oh y'all this is cute this real cute Okay, I know y'all ready. One, two, count to three. One, two, three. Look at this. This is so gorgeous. Let me take this tape off. Let me get this tape off first because y'all y'all got to see this. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, oh my goodness. Look, y'all. Oh, what? Look. Let me see you gotta get a look at this let me see there it is let me see i'm trying not to get the okay there it is look at that 3d y'all that 3d is coming through oh look at the colors vibrant beautiful it looked like it's just popping out at you but that's how 3d is you know if you ever went to the movie movies and you had the 3d they had the 3d glasses um, I know we used to do this a lot back in the day, but the 3D glasses where when you're looking at it, it's just like popping out. This is gorgeous. Look at it. So I am going to be giving this to one of the ladies in my ministry for Christmas. And this is so beautiful. And like I said, these will be in my Etsy shop, y'all. So make sure you go and check out my Etsy shop. Everything is linked in the description box, okay? So let me show you the um, tassel. Remember I said they come with tassels? Look at that. That is beautiful together. I don't think I have a yellow. But a yellow one would really be pretty. Now that may go, but I think I'm going to stick with the pink, okay? I think she would like the pink better. So, y'all, this is gorgeous. Look. Y'all, you know what? Like I told you before, just keep going. No matter if you mess up, guess what? Just keep going. Because when I first started supplementing, y'all, it didn't look like this. <laughs> it didn't look like this. But you it takes practice and it takes learning 
And as you learn, like I always say, my motto here on this channel, as we learn, we what? We grow. So as you learn how to do things, you continue to grow. It's a process. That's just like a baby. Most babies don't take off uh, run, uh, walking. They don't even take off running. A lot of them maybe, maybe do, you know. But a baby usually, the steps they usually take is what? Crawling, then walking. So that's what you have to do. You have to crawl before you walk. That's with life, y'all. Life. You have to crawl before you walk. Some people may take off walking or running or whatever, but it's very rare. So you have to crawl before you walk. And when you walk, baby, guess what? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be beautiful. Because this is amazing. Ooh, y'all, I am so grateful. I am so, so grateful. And I never gave up. And guess what? You keep going, don't give up. Don't give up. Just keep going. Keep it moving. Don't quit. No matter what people say, it's going to be some haters. It's going to be some naysayers. It's going to be some people who doubt you. But guess what? It doesn't matter about them. It all matters about what you say about yourself. What do you tell yourself every day? You get up and tell yourself, I am going to win today. I am going to make this happen. This is a beautiful day. You keep speaking those things into existence and great things will always come back to you. And like I always say, you are here to be a blessing to others. So I thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. And you know I had to come with motivation, y'all. We all need motivation today. Do you hear me? We all need it in, today, uh, in today's world, today's society, because there's so much going on. You have to stay motivated. You have to cast out the negativity because the world will bring you negativity each and every day. But when you put your mind to the positives of the world, all that negative noise and stuff, you know what? You won't even hear it. You have to let the negative go and fill your mind with positivity each and every day. And when you do, you will see yourself grow okay so i thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe